Hello everyone, Jason Alea back here again, and today we're going to be reacting to Maligent official trailer, and this movie is going to be directed by James Wan himself, the director of the first two Insidious films, the first two Conjurings, Fury 7, Aquaman, the first Saw, the guy has done it all. I love James Wan and his work, I think he is one of the best horror directors working today. And I'm not alone on this, a lot of people would agree with me that he has directed some of the best and most influential horror movies of the past two decades, if you want to count Saw. Um, and had made some pretty cool action movies like Creator 7 and Aquaman, they're pretty fun movies. Um, but now he's going back to the horror genre once again with this film. I don't know anything about it, I don't know anything about the plot, I didn't even know what was happening. So this is a surprise for me, so let's check it out. I'm having visions. <sighs> oh shit. Weaver was found brutally murdered in her home this morning. Did you know her? No, but I saw her die. Oh. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing murders. As they're happening. Hello? He says his name is Gabriel. I think he's someone from my past. Whatever happened to you before you joined our family hurt you in a way that I can't even imagine. Stop saying that. Maddie, hmm? who are you talking to? Gabriel. Is he your imaginary friend? Imaginary imaginary. He's the devil. Hmm. <laughs> Oh shit. Whatever it was. It's back. He killed again. He's getting closer. He wants to talk to you. Mom, what do you know? Dude, this is like a really cool action slash horror movie, it looks like. And these visuals are crazy. <laughs> now, that's a, now that's a cool font that kind of reminds me of Stranger Things in some of uh, Stephen King's uh, fonts and books. Um, so far this looks really cool. I'm liking what I see here. Uh, what I love about James Wan is that even though in trailers it may seem like a typical horror movie, when you see the actual movie itself, even if there is a jump scare, he doesn't play it off cheaply. He pays it off in a way that makes you both satisfied as a viewer but and also terrified at the situation at hand and from what i see here i don't all the jump scares that seem to be there seem to be like the payoff of something actually scary that is happening at the moment in which the characters are in and the visuals i feel are going to be the biggest part of this movie i feel like james wan is going to had a lot more visual effects to this. Usually in his past work, he will have be a bit more practical. I think he's going to think out of the box in this one and try to do something unique visually. 
And from what I see here, and the way the movie shot, it's all beautiful. From what I see here, it's going to be very different from what James Wan usually does with his horror movies. And I can't wait to see what he has in store. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.